I'm Deb Schrag. I'm a medical oncologist uh, focusing on gastrointestinal cancers, uh, which includes pancreatic cancer. And I'm also the chief of the Division of Population Sciences here at Dana-Farber. My research spans a number of different areas, but with respect to pancreas cancer, I spend a lot of time doing work in clinical informatics and the field known as precision medicine where we try to do sequencing of tumors, both the genes that are present in the pancreas cancer themselves, as well as the genes that are present in a person's normal cells, so-called germline, which are not the cells particular to the cancer, and trying to understand what genes that a person has in all the cells in their body predispose them to develop pancreas cancer in the first place. So if we can understand the environmental risk factors, the herited genetic risk factors, as well as the acquired genetic risk factors, and put all that information together, we will start to solve this really challenging puzzle. It affects everyone. It affects 40-year-olds and it affects 90-year-olds but we just haven't invested enough in understanding the causes or investigating potential treatments. So we need massive increase in research investment to try to solve this problem. Of course, people come in all different flavors and shapes and sizes and personalities, but at one extreme, there are some patients who really want to participate in helping us discover new and better treatments. And that typically means participating in clinical trials and research studies, and those folks are heroes. We could not make progress without the courageous patients who decide to participate in investigational trials, sometimes with a very new drugs where we don't know a lot about the risks and benefits, and we're not able to guarantee whether these drugs will work. For prostate cancer, which you mentioned, we have a blood test the PSA test. That is not a perfect test. It doesn't work so well, but at least there is a test. For breast cancer, we have an imaging test. Mammograms, which have been around for years, which help catch these cancers early. We don't have a good early diagnosis test for pancreas cancer, either based on blood testing, what so-called biomarkers, or an easy imaging test. People say, why don't we do CAT scans or MRIs? Those are invasive, intensive tests that expose people to radiation and potentially find all kinds of red herring. So those are not great screening tests. So we need to invest more research in developing strategies for early detection. And we also need to figure out people who are at high risk we also need to focus on the, what we call phenomic data. In high school biology, everyone learns about genotype, our genes, and phenotype, how those genes are expressed. In pancreas cancer, we know some people get the very aggressive kind that spreads to the liver immediately, and other people get a kind that is a little bit less aggressive and spreads to the lung. That's a different phenotype. So we need information about all these patterns. We need to learn from all these clues and really put that together, both the genomic information and the phenotypic information, and really try to put that together. Big data companies, individuals working in universities and academic medical centers, yes, big data will, will help us get there. This past year, pancreas cancer surpassed breast cancer as a cause of death in the United States. That is an absolutely staggering and stunning statistic. There are no pink ribbons for pancreas cancer. My goals are that we are better able to treat it and better able to prevent it. And I'm optimistic that with renewed energy and vigor and focus and resources, we can get there and we can make progress. It's gonna take collaboration, cooperation, team science, big data, understanding the genetic components, the environmental components, and the phenotypic expression, recognizing that not all pancreas cancer is the same. 
I'm excited because I think that we can get there. It, we may not make progress on a month-to-month basis, but on a year-to-year basis, we have and we will. Code Purple. Demand a new approach.